This book is not for everyone. I'm going to repeat, this book is not for everyone. At the beginning of the book, when she was talking about the termination of her pregnancy, it was kind of jarring for me, but I also knew that I was inspired to read it, so I continued on, and I'm so grateful that I did because it answered a couple of the questions that I have been throwing out to the universe that I've been asking divinity, and so I did get a couple of answers in this book, and then she introduces us to another figure in the book that went to the house that she used to live at. Um, he was like a guest speaker one night, and then I looked on YouTube and to search him up. He was um, being interviewed by ooh, the guy. I can't remember his name. I will link it below. But this guy, he used to be in Hollywood. He was a Hollywood producer. I want to say Alex. Um, I don't know. I'll link it below. But I came across an interview with the guy that she introduces us to. And um, in that interview, I got another answer that I had been asking of the universe. So um, going back to the book, I do definitely recommend it. But like I said, it's not for everyone. Um, there was a time when she was three years old that she was not appropriately touched. And it was by friends of the family. And at, when I read that, the whole situation, I had to stop reading and do Ho'oponopono. Um, but when she went to heaven, it was explained that these people were her best friends. Uh, she signed up for it. And the people that did that to her also volunteered to do that to her. Uh, but prior to incarnating, they were all best friends. They were all spirit beings and best friends. And so um, through circumstances, when the two incarnated, they had a bad life and they were abused. And so they in turn abused other people. And um, so that opened up my heart and hers to forgive Um she talks about deja vu in a way I've never heard it before. And that was an answer for me because I was like, what is deja vu? And people would tell me and the Matrix mentioned it, the movie, The Matrix. And none of that really resonated with me. But the way she explains it resonated with me. Also, um, there was something else. Oh, so I have been asking the universe, how can I stop looping into the 3d reality and she answers it point blank be love and you'll stop the karmic cycle and so i've been going through a course in miracles it was a confirmation because as as a student of a course in miracles i have been learning to be loved now sometimes it's hard sometimes i still send out attack thoughts but i have all the tools that i need to not do that and I need to practice you know I've been programmed we as society as a society have been programmed to return evil for evil and so just getting out of those decades worth of programming to form a new habit um, that's where I'm at now and my journey with A Course in Miracles and of course with Ho'oponopono because if you're focused on divinity saying thank you I love you I'm sorry please forgive me you're not going to have space to hold on if you're really focused on divinity and doing those clearing statements so this book I do recommend I got answers like I said um, it's not for everyone like I also mentioned so you know read with caution or don't read the book at all uh, and you can also do Ho'oponopono if something is particularly triggering you um and i gotta remember to link the uh interview that i saw with the guy that she introduces and she knew eckhart tolle before he became famous so that's pretty cool okay so five out of five stars talk to you later bye